It's probably the most dramatic period of change that the refrigeration industry's ever seen. Historically, with the magnitude of change we've seen over the past 10 or 20 years, um, it was often possible for an individual OEM or component supplier to solve many of the industry problems on their own. But going forward, the magnitude of changes that we're looking at, both from the Department of Energy and from the EPA, as well as the convergence of electronics in these applications, and the different focus that end user constituencies want to choose from the environmental standpoint, there really won't be one answer for the market. It's going to be important for all of us to work together, and that requires pulling together the entire industry, OEMs, wholesalers, contractors, consultants, and although we've done a little bit of that in the past, most of our outreach has been to those groups individually, not collectively. With the electronics coming on board, new refrigerants, and really a lot of the trends in the contractor industry, we've heard time and time again that um, many contractors are having a difficult time finding the talent. And you're combining that at a time that the skill set and the complexity in these applications is going to go up significantly. You're going from a world of one or two refrigerants to maybe four, five, six different refrigerants with very different characteristics. From an OAM standpoint, it comes down to how do you pull together the best system in the most cost effective and efficient way. In the past, perhaps we could improve our compressor technology, our valve technology, our controls technology, and on our own try to offer some solutions to the OEMs. Um, going forward with these changes, I think we're going to have to walk hand in hand with the OEMs to figure out the best combination of these changes to meet the needs of the industry. And so if we don't find a good way to do that, if we just add a lot of cost to the system to meet higher efficiency or new refrigerant requirements, then the end user is going to be stuck carrying a much higher cost in their system. And, and our concern, we've seen that happen in other industries, our concern if that happens is you can really slow down growth. If you asked anybody today, what's the clarity of direction in the next five years? I tell you, you get, you get the most difficult answer you've gotten in this industry in 25 years. People don't know how to navigate the next five years, and they don't necessarily know how it's going to impact them. And so that's part of E360, is how do we bring together the, all the different pieces and parts of the industry in one setting and talk through, really start with the problems we're facing and together figure out how we solve them. I think Emerson's well positioned with a broad reach, a good understanding of this, but you know, Emerson doesn't have all the answers. I mean, we need this as much as we think the industry needs it. If we could get everybody on the same page, including the regulatory agencies, that would be the true vision of E360 working together, and I think E360 has a broad enough reach, enough participants across the entire industry to really help lead the way and bring everybody along with it to solve the problems of the industry today.